In Working It Today, we are talking about a highly unusual case. Andy Challenger, Challenger Gray and Christmas, is here to talk about a nice man who wants to bring his son to work. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. The nice man happens to be Adam LaRoche, and he was a White Sox baseball player. And it was becoming an issue because he kept bringing his 14-year-old son into the clubhouse with the other players. Okay, I'm thinking clubhouse, I work on a trading floor. These are adult environments. I'm not so sure that this was a good call on his part. It, it does seem like a little misguided that he was bringing his 14-year-old son over and over again to one of the most vulgar workplaces you could possibly imagine. Um, and, and, you know, maybe not the best environment for a kid at all times. So, so eventually the manager, Kenny Williams, came down and said, enough, we need you to scale back. He didn't, he never used the word stop. He just said scale back from bringing your son to work with you so much. So at some point, I'm thinking some of the players had to be complaining behind the scenes. It's very possible that uh, other players in the clubhouse didn't really want it to be a childcare facility, which is understandable. And the, and the president, in a lot of ways, even though he's gotten some flack, ha has a responsibility to uh, uh, talk to players and say that it's not always appropriate to bring your kid into work. It's, it wouldn't be fly in almost any workplace. Obviously, you can make allowances for uh, certain situations, uh, but to do it every single day is is not appropriate. And, and I think the crackdown is probably necessary. When is it appropriate to bring your child to work? Uh, you know, you can always make uh, make an allowance uh, for um, somebody in a, in, a, in a desperate situation, but that certainly wasn't the case. It was it was just a choice that he wanted to have his kid there at all times um, and, and wasn't always at school instead. So it really wasn't a, a great situation, and I think management stepped in when they needed to. And I understand the love of your son. I understand the love of the game. <laughs> I understand people who want to be who they are at work and not have to filter everything they say. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it touches a nerve, right? There's a lot of situations where a lot of people need childcare, right? It's a difficult situation um, uh, for a lot of employers and employees to, to hash out. Um, in this case, maybe the, the Sox could have come up with a childcare program that wasn't there in the go. clubhouse. Uh, but. Uh, either way, um, when you're not a top performing player, sometimes you don't get those special allowances. He did forgo, I read though, in the newspaper, $13 million because he, he took their retirement. You know, he had, he had some some back pain. It was probably his last year in the majors, uh, but uh, so so it, uh, he retired a little bit early, but there was $13 million left on his contract. So it was a big thing to step away from and you know, it does show where his priorities were uh, towards his family. Do you see this come up a lot though? People are concerned about childcare and they do need a place potentially in the work environment to bring their, their child. We do see this. Um, more and more employers are finding that if they can give that kind of flexibility, if they can provide some childcare option, they'll have a, a new a set of employees that normally they wouldn't be able to access because they had, they had children and had to stay at home with them. Uh, so, so it really is expanding employers' opportunities by expanding these childcare programs. An amazing story, and it certainly does bring out some conversation mm -hmm. with people, but it's really controversial. It is really controversial, and we saw other Sox players take a stand and even you know talk about boycotting the first game um, but at the end of the day the president of the clubhouse has to set some guidelines and, and this seems like a relatively appropriate one good to have you here thank you thanks for having me back